To save you some time and improve your style, the summary for the upcoming 2023 low-key trends are Panda Dunks, Assless Chaps, and Alpha M Core. You're welcome. Before I can get to why trends are important for influencing and upgrading your style, it's key to remember the factors of status, social media, and the current trend cycles that have boosted items like Boston's, Sambas, and cropped hoodies. Musicians, actors, and even TikTokers now have the ability to set trends. However, not everyone with a following has the same degree of influence or buying power over their fans. Ye immediately comes to mind as having a huge influence and ability to set trends, although I'm not sure how this will be affected through his recent actions. The Red Wing 3049s that now resell for hundreds are a perfect example of how Ye controlled people's perceptions of what's considered cool or fashionable. If you can see other celebrities being able to hype these up to the same level as him, let me know who. What's even more powerful for fashion trends is when it feels like someone with status and good style lets you win on something new and undervalued. If done correctly, the footwear or clothing they share comes off as like a secret that other people haven't heard yet but are waiting to hear the news. This can more so be done within fashion subcultures where people become diehard fans towards a niche set of products until eventually someone spills the secret and these products become mainstream. When products become mainstream or trendy, it often seems that they're viewed as ruined, but on the other hand, gatekeeping is also looked down upon. So is there a win-win situation? Do you think items like Nike Dunks, Arteryx jackets and New Balance in general should have been gatekept or are you personally happy that these are now considered fashionable by the masses? Social media can obviously spark and fuel trends, but what's specifically interesting in 2023 is the leveled playing field. Everyone watching this video right now has the ability to set or fuel a trend. You don't need to be an A-list celebrity to get reposted on outfit pages or hit online algorithms. So what's it take? Money? Clout? Good looks? <laughs> From the most successful recent trends, it seems that wearing adjusted timeless pieces are key. Whether that's wearing new collaborations or items with better marketing techniques than the past, somehow adjusting a classic design but keeping that authentic factor on why it was originally well liked Timeless designs are able to balance the hype just enough not to fall off the tightrope and be labeled as played out or dead. The main trend I've noticed from creating fashion content is that videos on trends do amazing. Predictions, hot takes, declaring trends have died or fallen off, it doesn't matter. All of it seems to do well with viewers. What's so surprising about all this is that when I originally saw trend content performing well, I assumed it was because of you, the viewer cared about staying up to date with fashion trends to be able to stand out through participating in trends. However, this doesn't seem to be the case at all, at least with most viewers. The majority of responses in the comments seems to be that people don't care what's in or out of trend. Instead, we're all trying to build our own personal style. Yet what's interesting about this is that we're all still clicking on the fashion trend videos anyway. It's a valid question to ask, do trend predictions matter for your own style, even if you're focused on building a personal style? The opinion that trend prediction videos only point out the obvious, such as crop tees, racing jackets, and hiking aesthetics will be worn in 2023, could easily be justified. If trend predictions aren't pointing out the obvious, they can also feel like a shot in the dark without meaning if the creator predicts trends correctly or not. However, trend predictions can be a great tool if used properly, and here's how. These videos can offer a great insight into fashion subcultures. An example like Drew Joyner's recent video gave insight to Korean and Chinese designers along with the future in AI fashion providing insight on lesser known fashion subjects and in turn proving that fashion trend content can't totally be written off as insignificant to improving or even just learning more for your style. 
If I had to bet my life on correctly predicting a trend in 2023, it would be on older Nike basketball models being a hit, specifically with the return of Foams, Up Tempos, and Barclays. Two trends I would like to see are a Bones Brigade core, specifically how they styled Beat Jordan 1s, or a Wes Anderson aesthetic gaining support through his color palettes and recognizable pieces from his films. If you found this video valuable, go check out some more. Peace.